Previously on Unplayable Life, Sally finds some of Samantha's relatives. Bree tries to prove Lance is innocent. You get me a lawyer, you get me everything. We'll be good. Gabby meets Sebastian. By the way, it's got a kiss on it. And Ian proposes to Susan, but later she rejects it. The wedding's off. You could say that Dolores was disliked by many people. Her husband despised her. Her son wanted her dead. And her daughter-in-law found her quite annoying. Yes, Dolores was disliked by many people. Until her window opened. And with that window being opened, it gave her a chance to do something. To show one of those people what it truly means to be disliked. And she would do anything to bring them to their end. Mark and Daniel were moving as they thought someone would discover their secret, as they were assassins. So when the moving process began, they wanted to make sure they weren't forgetting anything. So they packed their important technology, and their memorable photos, and their expensive furniture. But as Mark and Daniel were leaving their driveway, they thought that they were forgetting something. And they sure were. Guess who just left the lane? <sighs> wow, they didn't last that long. I thought they'd last longer. <sighs> I know, it's crazy that Mark and Daniel already moved out. They just moved in like a couple weeks ago. Uh, I talked to them before they left and they said that their mother fell ill, so... Maybe that's why. Uh, that's the biggest baloney I've ever heard. Uh, Bree thought they were hiding something, and clearly, they're running away. Um, hey, where is Bree? Oh, Bree said that she wasn't feeling good today, so she has to skip coffee. Oh, and speaking of coffee, it's done. Uh, I hope you asked her, Gabby, how she was feeling. Uh, she said that she was fine. Uh, Cooper, I can't thank you enough for taking care of me while I'm sick today. I have to take time out of your day. No, you don't have to thank me again. I do this because you're my mother and I should thank you. I'm just so proud of you, of the person you became. Uh, thank you. Uh, here, I hope this tea's hot enough for you. Uh, it's perfect. Thank you, Cooper. Okay, well then I'll be downstairs finishing your soup. Okay, I'll see you in a sec. Uh, oh god, I need one more ingredient. Oh, it must be in the kitchen. Hello, Cooper. D Dolores, y you're not supposed to be here right now. But I came to help with your mother. I heard that she's sick. It's so sad. And with Lance in jail, who else can take care of her? I think maybe you should leave. But I've just started, Cooper. Ugh. Oh, pathetic. Oh, sorry, Cooper. But it looks like you're going in the hallway closet. Ombre, soup's done. Hey, Mom, can you come here? I need you to sign something for me. Hold on, I'll be there in a sec. Oh, but you can't read it. <sighs> I can sign it, but I can't read it. Claudia, what did you do this time? Uh, you backtalked the teacher? She started it, Mom. What have I told you? Pick your fights. Just sign it yourself. You know my signature. Coming. Oh, God, what are you two doing here? Gabby, you and that Sebastian guy who's running for mayor are all over the news. Why'd you hit up with that guy? Oh, just come on in. Gabby, the city caught you guys being all flirty in the window. 
Did you not realize that people were in your window taking pictures of you guys being all flirty? No, and me and Sebastian were just having lunch. She asked me. Nothing's going on. Uh, well, Gabby, you may have just destroyed a man's career. Okay, who invited her here? Gabby, I'm just saying you might want to fix this. Oh, fine, I'll go down to his office today. This is what I get for being nice. Uh, how long has that doorbell been ringing? Ten minutes, why? Well, uh, it's Ian at the door and he brought roses. Good, I hope the thorns stab him. How long are you exactly gonna stay mad at Ian? He bet me in a game of poker. He gambled me. Oh, well, you might want to check this out. It's, it's about to get interesting. Mike's coming. What? Ugh, give it a break, Ian. She didn't answer the first ten times, and she's not going to answer ever. Ugh, you know, Michael, you're really starting to get on my nerves. Ugh, good. I liked you better when you were in a coma. Well, sadly I'm not. You know what, Michael? Uh, guys, my mom would really like it if you left. Tell them I'm disappointed in both of them. She said that she's disappointed in both of you and that you should rethink your life choices. And they're not good people. And your muddy eagles. Ow, why'd you hit me, Mom? That's not what I said, Chloe. Do it yourself. Bye. Oh, okay, mister. We'll, we'll keep in touch and let you know if you got the job. Uh, Sally, you gotta stop kicking people out of here. Charles, we lost two employees. Both are chefs. We have no one to make the pizzas. We're gonna go in debt eventually, and this place is gonna go downhill. Let me fix it. It was my midlife crisis. Exactly. You're the one that got us into this mess. Hello? Uh, anyone in here? Oh. Uh, hi. You must be applying for the chef, uh, opening. Uh, yes, I, I am. M my name's Derek. Well, uh, it's nice to meet you. Oh, this is my husband, Charles. He runs the pizza joint. <laughs> Yeah, we heard you're a four-star chef. That's awesome. Yeah, so what's a four-star chef like you doing in a crappy pizza joint? Oh, you know, I see things in this place. This thing, this, this place has potential in it, like no other restaurant, and I want to be part of that. Well, being a four-star chef and having a great speech like that, well, I guess you're hired. Yeah, we better start getting back to work, though. We're reopening in three days, so we gotta hurry. Yeah, and I was hoping this is okay with you, but I'd like to go over some new foods to bring into the restaurant. Great, you and me can test them tonight. Uh, Charles, maybe I should. You still have that bad back from the robbery. <sighs> Let me do it. Okay, well then, I guess we got our new chef. <sighs> Derek, what a sweet name. <laughs> Dolores? Uh, hi, Bree. I've come to take care of you. Uh, why am I so sleepy? <gasps> oh, sleepy, that's good. Then the sleeping pills are working. Uh, sleeping pills? Sleeping pills? Uh, Cooper? Oh, now, now. There's no need to call Cooper. I'm here to take care of you now. You know what, Bree? I'm going to warm you up a nice bath. You, 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 you hired Mark and Daniel to kill Amanda. Yes, Bree, I did. When I heard that my son had an affair, he and Amanda had to be punished. So I hired them to kill her. She was a slut. But having to kill you, Bree, it sucks because you're a good person. But I cannot let my son be happy. He must be punished. Ugh, there. Now let's get you out of bed. And enjoy a bath. Oh, come on, come on, make up Bree. Bree, hi, I was just wanting to check up on you. I heard that you weren't feeling so good today. It's not Bree, dear. It's your mother, Dolores. I came over because I wanted to take care of Bree. Unassigned to 
Whip her up a nice warm bath. Oh, stay the heck away from Bree. I gotta get down there. Whoa, 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 where do you think you're going? Officer, my wife is in danger. Ugh, I can't, how many times I've heard that one back in the jail cell. I gotta get to Bree before she dies. Oh. Bree, you say? Bree Santiago? Yes, that would be the one. Oh, Bree used to be close friends with my wife. We used to live in the Miller household. But uh, we moved to New York. I've lost my mind over the years and gone a little crazy, but I'll help you. Help me how? I can't get out of here. Oh, but you can down here. I'll distract the police and you run for it. Thank you, uh, the name's Warren. Now go. Come, Bree. Oh, oh, I gotta get out of there before they catch me again. Uh, Gabby, what are you doing here again? Uh, Sebastian, our little romantic evening the other day is all over the news. People think we're dating. This could ruin your... your election. Ugh, I already knew that. It's all over the news. All over the newspapers, everything. Social media. So, are you going to do something about it? Well, yes, I was going to tell the public the truth, but first I need to know. Are we seeing each other? I, I don't know. I don't know if I want to answer that. Well, Gabby, we gotta tell the public soon. I know. I, I just... I don't know. Hey, Emily, what are you doing? Uh, just playing. Oh, well, okay. Uh, so, did you and Daddy find a new chef? Oh, yes, we did. Yeah, he's over there talking with Dad. They're really getting along. Yeah, so are you hungry for anything? No, but you are. What? What's, what's that supposed to mean? Daddy said you were all flirty with the new chef. What? No, I would not never. Hey, Sally. Hi. Ugh, it's like a human and a camel fell in love. Yeah, you're right, I am hungry. I'm, I'm gonna go in the kitchen now. Ugh, you took my spot! Uh, hey, lady, finer's keepers. Oh, because that'd be convenient for you. I want my spot back. Lady, it's just a parking spot. Get over it. And how about you get over this? Ugh. Where are the keys? Oh, right there. Ugh. Lady, what are you doing? I'm taking my parking spot back. Now move. Ugh. A lady should be treated with respect and dignity. Whoa, 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 what's going on here? Uh, Ma'am, did you run this guy over? Uh, oh, sure, take his side. Uh, she ran me over, uh, all because of a stupid parking spot. Okay, uh, I might have overreacted over a parking spot. Uh, I really do not need this therapy session. I I'm fine, I, I really am. Susan, you ran over a man because he stole your parking spot. Clearly there is something wrong. Well, there is nothing wrong. Susan, how's... how's life? It's, it's good. And love life? <laughs> oh dear, I'm going to be here a while. Uh, just the two guys alone, my life's just, they play a game of poker over me, and they just, it's awful, how, what kind of person does that? Well, sweetie, these two men clearly care about you, so of course they're, they're gonna want to play a game over you, that's how men work. But, but it's just, it's just not right, I mean, who does that? I'd like some flowers or chocolates or something. Honey, you really have to get your life back together. Do we need to schedule more appointments? No. I mean, yes. 
citizens, citizens, please calm down. I know you have many, many, many questions, but please, I ask you one at a time, please. Are you and Miss Lomato dating? What effects will this have on the election? Any questions related to Miss Amato, I cannot answer. I'm terribly, terribly sorry. But this will not affect the election. I promise you that I am full force. Mm, they're starting to get a little violent, Sebastian. Maybe we should call the day. Uh, we want answers. We want them now. And you are going to get your answers, everyone. If you all so desperately want to know, yes, me and Sebastian are seeing each other, and this will not affect the election, and I will help Sebastian as best as I can. Nice save. I was a fashion model. I'm good with dealing with needy people. Now, remember, vote for Sebastian. Oh, Sebastian, come on. Looks like I'm doing all the work here. Ugh, per usual. Mm, the water should be warm enough, Bree. I'll turn it off. Why are you doing this? Because I don't want my son to be happy. When we were at that restaurant, Bree, I heard you and Lance talking about using sleeping pills on me. So I thought that was the perfect way to get you to die. With you falling asleep, it gives me a chance to kill you. I'm so tired. I can barely move. That's why I use them, Bree. With you not fighting back, I can do what I wanted to. And now, I can do what I planned for a long time. Bree, I really did like you. You just happened to fall into my trap. Bree's in trouble, I know it, I can feel it. If I can just get out this window uh, and onto the roof. Uh, uh, someone help! Uh, someone, uh, can you hear me? Uh, uh, hey, you down there, can you hear me? Uh, I'm up here uh, on top of the roof. Uh, uh, oh, the wind's starting to pick up. Oh, oh, ah, uh, ah. So. What do you have planned tonight? I'm hoping it's something good. Well, thank God you asked, because I have a lot of foods in store tonight, starting with my personal favorite pizza. This one I like to call the Monster Mumbo Jumbo. It has variations of tomatoes, onions, peppers, uh, onions. Did I already say that? Uh, I don't know, I just want to dig in. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. Yeah, it took me a while to come up with this uh, recipe, but yeah, I got it. Uh, yeah. Oh. Is it me? It's just getting really, really hot in here. Oh. Whew, that's better. Now it's not so hot in here. Do you ever wear your hair down? You look gorgeous. Oh, uh, thank you. It's probably because I'm a mother of four and, and, well, the less things my kids can yank on, the better. Well, yes, you look amazing. Uh, now, uh, let's get back to the next pizza. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, uh, the next pizza. <laughs> you are going to love this next one. I think I already like it. <sighs> the time has arrived, Bree. Goodbye, Bree. Uh, uh, daughters, I don't do this. Uh... Uh, get the heck away from her! Ah! Uh, Lance, what are you doing in a jail? Uh, I came to rescue Bree. Uh, 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 enough! It's time to finish this. No! Uh, 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 no! With the knife! Uh, give up, woman! Uh, 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 I'm not done, Lance. Uh, oh yes, you are, mother. Uh, <gasps> Taking her outside, honey. I will not let her die in our house. Oh. Tomorrow morning, one of our neighbors will discover a gruesome surprise. Two dead bodies side by side.
police will conclude that Helen fell from the roof. And Dolores killed herself after finding Helen dead. With the evidence shown, they'll have no choice but to drop the charges from Lance. And soon, the nightmare would be over. Something happened to Lance that very same day as he was walking up to his house. His life began to flash before his eyes. But he didn't see the past. He saw the future. Ordinary suburban days filled with ordinary suburban moments. Each made beautiful because of the housewife standing by his side. Yes, Lance can now picture a life without secrets and lies. And he couldn't wait for a fresh start. Honey, I'm home. <laughs>